It's your take it DJ Smart 255 hapa hapa S and S. Mwana Fuse, naomba unisikilize kwa makini. Na kushauri na ninakusisitizia. Kuanzia sasa hivi, usishare picha yote unayotumia au unaiona sehemu. Usishare video yote unayotumia au unaiona sehemu. Usishare voice over au voice note ya mtu yoyote unayosikia au kutumia au kuiona sehemu. Especially kama ile video au picha au voice note ina maudhui mabaya kwa muhusika mtu fulani kakamatwa mtu fulani kachepuka mtu fulani katukana mtu fulani kafanya hivi mtu fulani kakutwa kwenye sehemu fulani mambo yamebadilika kabisa the game has changed hapo kipindi cha nyuma niliongelea AI artificial intelligence ambayo ni akili bandia na nikafanya episode nzima kuhusu chat GPT kama hujaiona unaweza kaingia kwenye Fuse Technology 101 kwenye playlist ya Fuse utaikuta Chat GPT. Sasa ile ni AI moja lakini kuna AI nyingi. Na Chat GPT ni AI ambayo ndio iliyopata umaarufu kushinda AI zingine zote. Sasa kabla sijaingia kwenye AI zingine naomba nikupe proof na nikupe vielelezo kwa nini nakwambia usi share wala usi post wala usi sasa hivi usiamini chochote unachokiona iwe ni picha iwe ni voice note iwe ni video. Angalia hii picha. Hii picha inamuonesha bwana Trump anakimbia, anakimbizwa na polisi. Nikikwambia hii picha ni fake, sio kweli, imetengenezwa na AI. Ni ngumu sana kuamini. Hizi ni baadhi ya picha ambazo zote unaziona. Trump kakamatwa, Jeff Bezos tajiri namba moja duniani. Angalia pop jinsi alivyokula pamba. Hizi zote ni picha ambazo ni fake. Hapa picha inaonesha kwamba Trump kakamatwa, kazungukwa na mapolisi, na hapa kulia ni kwamba Trump amevaa nguo za gerezani. Hapa inaonesha Pop amekula pamba, kawaka. Ila hali halisi ni kwamba Pop sasa hivi yuko hospitali lakini nadhani huenda kawa ametoka ndani ya siku mbili hizi anaumwa. Lakini pictures zinaonesha amekula pamba na ana swaga miguu mtaani. Kapiga mambo ya Balenciaga, kapendeza kinyama yani. Yaani hizi picha ukiambiwa ni ngumu kuamini ndio maana nakwambia kwamba sasa hivi kutumia picha, video, voice note ya mtu fulani kafanya tukio fulani au kitu fulani kimetokea mtu fulani, usipost, usishare, kaa kimya jiepushe na majanga unaweza ukapigwa na kesi ya defamation sasa hizi site za AI ziko nyingi sana na zinafanya mambo mengi sana hapa nimechagua sita tu na zitumia kukuonesha uwezo wa AI na wapi tulipofikia sasa hivi ya kwanza inaitwa watermark remover graphic designers unaweza ukadownload picha lakini ukakuta ina watermark watermark kwa ni mihuri ambayo ipo kwa ajili ya kuzuia mtu asitumie ile picha na kuonesha ni nani mwenye picha naomba nikuonesheni mfano Angalia picha ya kulia nimeingia iStock. Nikachukua picha ambayo imejaa watermarks. Nikaingiza kwenye watermark remover, angalia picha ya kulia imetoa watermark zote. Kwa hiyo sasa hivi naweza nikaitumia hii picha. Original ya kushoto na watermark removed ya kulia. Ni moja ya sites za AI ambazo mnaweza mkaenda mkazitumia especially kwa graphic designers. Ya pili na tuhusu sisi ambao ni madomozege. Watu ambao hatujui kuongea na wanawake. Tumefikiwa kuna AI ambayo inakusaidia jinsi uweze kuchat na dem. O kama ni mwanamke jinsi uweze kuchat na mwanaume. So let's naomba nikuonesheni. Ni site ambayo ni amazing sana. Hii site inaitwa Your Move. Kushoto inakwambia response. Kama umetumia message na ujui jinsi ya kujibu. Kulia ni opener kama wewe ndo unataka kwanza kutuma message. Hapa inakwambia enter a message you receive. Ingiza message uliyopokea. Sasa hapa nimetumia moja ya mam, ya vitu ambavyo tunakutana nayo sana wanaume wa daa au wabongo kwa ujumla. Nataka hela ya saluni. Kwa hiyo nikaiambia nimepewa swali. Nimetumia message, muhusika anasema nataka hela za saluni. I need money to fix my hair. Hebu ngoja tuone itakavyonijibu. Ya kwanza inasema hivi, "Ta bwana una bahati. Mmoja ya vipaji vyangu ni kutengeneza nywele za kike. Shida iko wapi? Nini unataka ufanyiwe? Unaonaje tukutane ili kuweza kuidiscuss? Tunywe kidogo huku tunaidiscuss jinsi ya kusort issue ya nywele. La pili ni la utani. Well then, you better start a GoFundMe page. GoFundMe page ni page ambayo kama mtu na shida unaweza ukaenda kwenye internet, ukamwambia bana mimi nahitaji let's say DJ nahitaji vifaa vya mziki, watu kwa hiari yao wakajitolea kukutufanyia mchango. So ni utani bana ni nywele aina gani ambazo unataka kutengeneza? Ya tatu is very straightforward. How much do you need? Unahitaji kiasi gani? Then nika switch kwenye openers. So hapa let's say mimi nataka kukutana na huyu mhusika. Jinsi ya kumwambia bana yeye naomba tuonane. Majibu ndo haya. Unamuuliza kama ungeweza kusafiri popote duniani sasa hivi ungependa kwenda wapi? 
ungependa kwenda kutembelea mazingira mapi ya nje au ungependa kujaribu restaurant ya tofauti jibu la pili ni kwamba hey there ni sawa sana kusema mambo je ungependa kujaribu kutembelea mazingira ya nje au kujaribu migahawa mipya jibu la tatu ni kwamba hey there mambo kwa hiyo unamuuliza je unapendelea kwenda katika restaurants ambazo ni mpya za kifahari au unapenda kujaribu sehemu zilizojificha mitaani ambazo wana chakula amazing hiyo ni kwa sisi madomo zegi AI nyingine ni Konja na hii inawafaa sana wanafunzi. Hii ni AI ambayo ina vitabu vingi. Unaenda unachagua topic unayotaka. Hapa kuna vitu vingi Atomic Habits, Almark Novel Restaurant Mastery, Design Data, A Brief History of Time, How to Get Rich. Kuna vitabu vingi sana ambavyo viko humu. So let's say Atomic Habits. Nimechagua kitabu cha Atomic Habits. Hii AI inachokufanya inakufanya wewe uweze kuwasiliana na kitabu tofauti na kufungua kitabu anze kusoma hii ni sawa sawa ni kitabu ni mtu hai alafu naanza kumuuliza maswali sasa so, nimechagua atomic habits type here to ask a book a question andika chochote unachotaka kukiuliza swali kitabu hichi hapa nimeuliza swali how to be consistent jinsi ya kuwa na mwendelezo ikanipa majibu the key to be consistent is to make your habit easier to start na majibu yote haya hapa kwa kwa wanafunzi hichi ni ini AI ambayo itakusaidia ni sana. Mnaosoma kuna kitu fulani unataka kujua kwenye kitabu fulani, unaingia kwenye site hii hapa, utaiuliza maswali itakuelekeza kama unataka summary au hata kama una maswali yenyewe inaweza kujenerate maswali. Nyingine ni Kiwi videos. Kiwi videos inachokifanya ni kwamba let's say unafanya research and kuna professor ambaye anaongelea kitu fulani. Oh DJ Smile hivi anavyoongea. Unataka kuyachukua ya maneno na kuyageuza kuwa maandishi. Unaingia kwenye AI ya Kiwi Unaichukua video ya YouTube unayotaka unachukua link unaipaste nilichukua kipindi changu mwenye Fuse Technology 101 upande wa military tech nika paste kwa kweli Kiswahili ilipata wakati mgumu sana usije kangaika na video za Kiswahili au lugha nyingine nikaenda kutafuta video YouTube ya Kizungu nika paste na ikaniletea script nzima ya video hiyo nyingine ni Adobe Podcast unaona hapa mimi ninavyojirekodi huwa kuna background noise au unaweza kuwa sehemu yenye makelele Adobe Podcast inaweza ikatoa background noise yote ya nyuma. So naomba nikuoneshe mfano. Unaona kama hii hapa nimechukua na nini nimepost. Ila hapa pembeni kuna samples. Kwa hapo ukibonyeza baada enhanced speech and after. Ukisikiliza unaona tofauti. Ukibonyeza na ukitoa. Hiyo ni Adobe Podcast ambayo inaweza kukusaidia kama ni mtu ambaye una record sana voice over. Open and it's pretty echoey in here too not the best place to record audio yet with enhanced speech all of the background noise and echo is gone as if i recorded this in a professional studio na nyingine ni, ni pim eyes hii ni nzuri lakini inatisha kwa nini nasema inatisha inachokifanya ni kwamba unachukua picha unaweza kachukua let's say picha yangu ukaiweka kwenye hiyo site ukaiambia ni tafutia huyu mtu itakutaftia Instagram yake, YouTube yake, picha zake zote inastaftia hata kama ni za muda mrefu as long as ni picha za huyu mhusika yani ni kitu ambacho kinatisha naomba nikuonesheni mfano hapa unaiambia upload pictures kwa hiyo nika upload pictures nika upload pictures nikaambia ipige mzigo angalia kilichotokea yani issue mpaka inatisha hizi si video zangu zingine za Instagram zingine YouTube zingine ziko kwenye kwenye page zingine unaona Nimezipa mfano wa picha imeenda ime search. AI inatisha. Ukitumia kwa mema ina manufaa yake. Ila upande wa pili kuna kitu kinaitwa digital footprint. Tutakuja kuelekezana kipindi cha nyuma. Kwa hizi picha tunazoziposti na voice over na vitu kama hivyo, ujue ziko pale. Watu wanaweza kazitumia kuku track popote ulipo. Actually wenzetu kule wa nje ni kwamba wana software kama wanakutafuta popote duniani ulipo ukitumia simu yako sauti yako ikisikika pala wanaweza kukutrace wakakujua ni nani na uko wapi na wakaku kama ni mtu ambaye unatafuta unakamatwa dakika sifuri. hizi AI kama nilivyosema ziko nyingi baadhi yake ndo kama hizi hapa ambazo mnaweza mkaenda mkazijaribu hizi hapa ziko nyingi mno kwa hiyo take your time naenda kazijaribu sasa tumeonesha picha na video naomba nikuoneshe kitu ambacho kinatisha zaidi kwenye voice unaona sauti yangu hii mtu anaweza akaichukua sauti yangu akaitumia akaongea maneno yote mengine either ya kumsifia mtu au ya kumtukana mtu 
oya uongo uongo chochote anachotaka kutumia na ukasikia sauti kama ya kwangu cheki mfano wapi fake Kendrick Lamar song young guru scared of ai technology mtu katumia ai kwa ajili ya kutengeneza nyimbo ya Kendrick Lamar tu cheki hapa this is my voice with the Kendrick Lamar voice filter native on gc native on <laughs> Wish I could go back to the beginning. Are they gonna go and fake a Kendrick? They could never capture all my lessons. My just is simply having the case. You let get the message. Let him pray. Let him pray. Just let him pray. Just let him pray. Let him pray. Yani nyimbo ikidondoshwa sasa hivi mtu ukisikia unajua Kendrick Lamar kadondosha nyimbo. Alafu sasa sio hiyo tu peke yake. Ngoja ni kuonesha kitu ambacho kinatisha zaidi. Queen Leonard DiCaprio alikuwa anatoa speech kwenye umoja wa mataifa. Cheki AI inavyobadilisha sauti yake kuwa kwa watu tofauti tofauti. Sikiliza ya. Concerned citizen. One of the 400,000 people who marched in the streets of New York on Sunday and the billions of others around the world who want to solve our climate crisis. As an actor, I pretend for a living. I play fictitious characters often solving fictitious problems. I believe that mankind has looked at climate change in that same way as if it were a fiction. As if pretending that climate change wasn't real would somehow make it go away. But I think we all know better than that now. For you, not as an expert, but as a concerned citizen. Umeona jinsi gani inavyotisha? Hiyo ni AI. Kwa hiyo nakwambia usishare kitu chochote unachotumia kuanzia sasa hivi kuwa makini sana. Sasa mbaya zaidi naomba ni kuoneshe nyingine. Indo indo crazy zaidi sasa. Huyu anaitwa David Guetta. David Guetta anakuambia huyu ni Eminem. Sikiliza sasa alichokifanya. This something that I made as a joke. Hii ni kitu nilifanya kama utani utani tu. So na imetoka vizuri mno sikutegemea ingetoka kwenye ubora huu. Anasema niligundua hizi websites za AI akilibandia artificial intelligence. Basically you can write lyrics in the style of any artist you like. Anasema unachoweza kufanya ni kwamba unaweza kaingia kwenye hizi AI ukaiambia kwamba naomba uandike mashairi kwa mfumo wa nguea au andika mashairi kama 50 cent au andika mashairi kwa, kwa uandishi wa Tupac na ikakuandikia mashairi kwa uandishi wa Tupac o msanii uliyemwambia kuandikie So I typed write a verse <laughs> in the style of Eminem about future rave Umeona akaiambia niandikie verse ya Eminem kwa style ya Eminem akiongelea Future Rave. Future Rave ni zile party kubwa kubwa zinazofanyika kama hii nyimbo ilipokuwa imepigwa. And I went to another AI website that can recreate the, vo- the voice and put the text in that. Baada ya kuandikiwa akachukua zile akaenda kwenye website nyingine ambayo inaweza ikatengeneza sauti ya mtu kama ile tuliyopita ya Kendrick. And I played the record and people went nuts. Anasema nikatengeneza kule alafu nikaitengeneza hii nyimbo watu walipagawa This is the future rave sound I'm getting lost in an underground This is the future rave sound I'm getting lost in an underground Eminem Sasa hii ndo ukisikia rave ndo kama hii party za aina hii Huyo si Eminem kabisa Kwa jamani hali ni mbaya na hali ni nzuri Sasa hivi ukisikia kauli kiongozi wa nchi waziri au mshikaji au msanii au mtu yeyote kafanya kitu fulani umetumiwa video umetumiwa picha umetumiwa voice note kausha unless umeona kwa macho yako kwa hiyo naomba tuwe makini sana 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 yani hivi ndio vitu ambavyo inabidi sasa turudi kwenye misingi ya kidini let's say kwenye kwenye Qur'an inakuambia inapokuijeni habari fatabai yanu inapokuijeni inapokuijeni habari yoyote fanyeni uchambuzi fanyeni uhakiki chochote utakachotumiwa sasa hivi hakikisha unafanya uhakiki unaweza kujikuta kwenye matatizo makubwa sana kwa sababu ya hivi vitu 
It's your take DJ Smart 255 hapa hapa S and S. Je, unatumia AI artificial intelligence? Tukutane kwenye comment section. Hizi ni baadhi ya artificial intelligence sites ambazo nimekuwekeni hapa wana fuse. Naomba mkazijaribu then tukutane kwenye comment section. It's your take DJ Smart 255 hapa hapa S and S. Unaweza kan follow on my Instagram DJ Smart 255 on my YouTube channel DJ Smart 255. Social media zote au platform zote natumia DJ Smart 255. DJ Smart. Easy.